Good evening, Mumbai. Thank you for raining such a warm welcome on us. I think we gave the thunder outside quite a run for its money with our thundery debates at the conclave. The Met Department had given a red alert for Mumbai. I don't know whether they knew about our conclave. It's nice to be back in your bustling city. Last year when we were here, it was in the run-up to the exciting general election. And all the buzz at that time was whether PM Modi and the BJP would make a historic third term. And the second, about the democratic backsliding of India, with tampered EVMs and a compromised election commission. The noise was very loud and it was very vociferous especially from foreign media. So for me, the biggest winner of the 2024 elections was our democracy. A true celebration of free and fair elections. And in spite of the heat and the dust and the long weekends, we had a voter turnout of 65.79%. And it forcefully shut up that false narrative that tried to tarnish our democratic process. Here we are today, after that election and in the run up to another. Forget one nation, one election. We seem to be one nation, always in election. I'm not complaining. Election is the lifeblood of a newsroom like ours. We thrive on it. The Indian electorate is famous for its election intelligence. And they may not all have Harvard degrees, a subtle call out to the Harvard gang that is sitting out here, but they know their politics. And they showed it to the world by creating a delicate, magic number at the parliament. For us as a group, the election was a fantastic showcase of our democratic newsroom. And this is not a claim or an opinion, it's a fact. We had the definitive Modi interview, of course, but we also had all the leaders of the opposition, from Priyanka Gandhi to Akhilesh Yadav to Tejasvi to Sharad Pawar to Uddhav Thakre to Jagan. It was a phenomenal ride. And I think in this day and age of social media echo chambers and influencer elections, it is very important for a media organization like ours that is committed to presenting all sides of the story. In fact, it makes our purpose stronger. Conclave is a living, breathing experience of just that. All sides of the story, which is what we tried to bring you here in the last two days. And Maharashtra election is such a thrilling story to tell. A multi-star with six superstars, new friendship, old enemies, alternative plot lines, and even some guest, guest appearances. It's a full-on pot boiler. You've had the leaders of all six sides present their case to you here in the last two days. You get to be the judge in just a few weeks. So we hope that we've done our job well so you can choose well. Now I leave you to the other side of your state and what you do so well, entertainment. Seth, the stage is all yours. Exhale and take it away. Thank you and until next time, best of luck.